Hey everyone, it's David here. So I want to talk to you today about a couple different basic fundamentals in this business, no matter what type of overage, if it's tax overage, if it's mortgage surplus, and there's so many different other mortgages that, that we go over and that we, we cover with you. And I want to go over a few of the basics. So first of all, a question I get a lot is, is there, is there enough to go around? Is there enough leads out there? And is there enough for me to be able to farm my market and do this? And I think right now, if you look at my split screen, that should be answering that question. But even before you get there, the first question you need to ask yourself is what are your values and what are your goals and what are your beliefs in doing this business? Now, I'm going to get into the five basic fundamentals that I, I, you need to be able to have this business successfully here in just a second. But you need to ask yourself, what, what, a, what is my mission? What do I want to accomplish? Now, obviously, you want to make money. OK, so let's let's put that out of the side. I mean, as much as I love this business and as much as I love getting people paid and I've, I've had some heartbreaking stories, I've had people cry, I've had people, it's, it's great, okay? So I, I wanna first of all acknowledge that, okay? And you're, you're out here to get paid, everybody is, but what are your core values and beliefs in this business? Like one of mine is I like to help other people by getting the money and I like to give people as much money as possible. So I love being able to do that. I love helping out people and I love, so that, that goes into some of my missions and I'm not going to go over all my missions, but to be able to add value to my customers, to be able to make it the easiest process that they can have. So if someone says, yes, David, I want to go with you. What is the process? So I just got a woman paid and she, she'll be on a testimony in a, in a later date in one of my videos. This lady, um, her late husband, it was his property. She had a different name. She was remarried. She had had a fire at one of her houses and she had no idea at all. And I, I talk about this because when we got her case, it very much would have been easy to say, you know what, let's, let's just ditch this one and go to the next one. But we got her to go to the DMV. We got her to get some ID. We pulled up some court records. We had to show a death certificate, which she didn't have. We we, um, JD Vista had assisted her in getting the copy of that. We worked with her in the, um, all the information that she needed, the marriage certificate, um, the name change, all that. We had to get all that document up and she worked with us. We gave her guidance, but we, we went and we were always one step ahead of her. Here's what you need to do to be able to get that. But let's go into the five fundamentals that you're going to need in this business. And my first one is don't sit still, get out there and move and do it. Okay. And I, you need the other four before you, you take that, but don't, don't sit still. And I've, I've said this, I have other videos on this as a meetup leader, as someone who's mentored and coached other people in real estate, I always see people that don't move because they want to get a better contract. They want to be able to consult with an attorney. They want to have a better yellow letter with a different brightness than all the other ones out there. They want to, they want to, they want to, okay, get out there and give it a try. Do it quickly get out there and be willing to do it. That, that's your number one thing. Besides the mission and goals and everything that I tell you, and you, you need to, one of the, and I, I teach this on another video, one of the, the core values that I believe in this is why do you, what do you want? Why do you want it? And what, how are you going to get it? Like for me, I want to be able to make an income by getting people paid. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to get leads. I'm going to farm them. I'm going to call on them. I'm going to assist people in getting leads. So and then, and then how am I going to do it? So what do you want? Why do you want it? How are you going to get it? And I do a whole nother video on that. And that should be that that should be with within your core beliefs as well. And I, I love being able to help people. Okay. Number two is don't worry about making mistakes. Mistakes are going to happen. You're going to, you're going to mess up on a contract. You're going to have to have someone re-sign something. It's very embarrassing. You're not going to be able to find some information. Your CRM, something's going to happen. You're going to lose some data. I, I've had it happen. Now, as time goes on, you learn how to be able to stop that and you learn how to be able to, to um, manage your, your, your leads and your time. You're still going to have something like I just dealt with a very difficult county when I got someone paid and it was my most difficult ever. You're going to have obstacles. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to do something that you shouldn't do. Get over it. It happens. Okay. So that's, that's the second thing I want to be able to say. Third thing, okay, take small steps. And what I mean by take small steps is be willing to get out there and learn your area. So let's say you're doing bankruptcy funds, pull up some unclaimed bankruptcy funds, look at who hasn't been paid, get on PACER, look at some cases, and then start making the contact that you are with your client, your potential clients. Or say you're doing tax overages, get involved in accounting, find out how they release their tax overages. And by the way, I give video after video on how to give script with counties how to talk to counties. But again, it's, it's baby steps. I mean, 
So you see yourself making $100,000 a year, $150,000, $200,000 a year. That's a very doable business. In fact, in 2021, there's no reason why you shouldn't be making that kind of money. I mean, it's, it's very easy and it's very doable. But if you do not take these steps where you're contacting the county, you're finding the leads, you're, you're getting your script down, you're doing whatever you have to do. If you're not taking those baby steps, it's, it's not going to happen. So you need to write out what exactly you need to do. I do go over that in another video. Okay. The fourth one. Okay. There's a saying that luck favors the persistent. And I've heard that time and time again, and I don't think it's luck. I don't believe in that term, but I do agree that if you're persistent, you're going to get it. Call it lucky, call it what you want. Be persistent. That would be the fourth thing I'd want. i really want to say to you. So yesterday, as you saw in the, the highlight of this video, in, in my first cold call, and a number of you were listening to that, I, I spoke to a guy who very much challenged me, but asked me to go ahead and send the contracts verbally to him. He said, what will your fee be? And I said, the state allows a 10% fee to go to a company. And he, he has dealt with this before. And he said, well, this is negotiable. And it really irritates me that you have not that you didn't tell me that this was negotiable at all. So I went ahead and I just said, you know what, what, what would be fair and what would you like to do? I mean, obviously I'm not gonna start off and, and I've done this for a while. So he said 5%. Now this one case I was looking at was 57,000. So it'd be a $5,700 payout. Let's use round numbers. Let's just say $6,000 payout, a little less than that, but $6,000 payout. He said, I think 5% is fair. Well, that takes my payout to 3,000. Is $3,000 an hour good pay? Absolutely. He went on to say that there's other leads and we always check. He has, um, and it, he's executor of this will, he has $117,000 that's out there in different funds from different companies, um, three large ones and then three really small ones. I will get him the three large ones and I will get him the three small ones. Why? Because my mission is helping people, getting people paid and doing everything on my end. So I will assist him on all six deals that he has. I will, if I do 6%, it's 170,000. I will make approximately $8,500. Is that worth an hour's worth of pay? Absolutely. Now, I don't have the deal yet. Luck favors the persistent. I have gotten him the contract. He asked for an agreement, like the, the investigator agreement. I went ahead and I sent that to him. He will look at that. I will then follow up. So persistence, what does that look like? So he's asked me to text him on the follow-up. I said, when it, what is the best way for me to follow up with you? What would you like me to do? And he said, well, and, and I didn't think his phone was, he was even answered. He said, I seldom answer the phone. He picked it up on the fourth ring. He said, I just decided to pick up this call for whatever reason. So I will go ahead and do what he did. And I asked, honor what he asked. And I will text him. He got the contracts this morning. It is to, on a Tuesday. So probably Thursday, I will go ahead and follow up with the text and just say, hey, this is David here, just I'm, his name, I'll put his name in there. Want to make sure that you have everything that you need and, and if you have any questions. If he says no or whatever, then I'm going to say, great, with your permission, and, and I'm going to have to give this guy some empowerment. And this guy opened up to me quite deeply. I very much appreciated it. He told me that his son was deceased. I, I hate to hear that. He told me some other relative problems. I had to listen to him. I had to listen to him for a while. I don't say had to. That's part of my, that's part of my, my core values and goals is you're going to hear a lot of deep stuff in this business. You're going to hear people say they've gotten a divorce, that their spouse passed, that they have someone in the hospital. I have a woman. And after this guy, I got, um, this wasn't on my, my live calls. I got a hold of a woman that I had tried last Monday. I talked to her mother on a live call and her and I played phone tag all week. Thanksgiving hit. Um, she doesn't have her voicemail set up. And I kept on texting her. I really want to talk to you. So we finally talked yesterday and I, I made a joke. And again, Go with your gut. But when we first spoke, I said to her, hey, I was getting good friends with your, your answer machine. I'm glad we finally connected. And she laughed. We, we talked a few a little while. And then she said to me, she said, David, how long will it take me to get paid? And I just said, it's going to take about six or seven months per the way COVID and everything's going right now. And she said, I really need it sooner than that. I just said, okay. I said, I really want to go ahead and work with you. If you want, I can go and get the paperwork to you. We get started. So she's got a... Um, $57,000 deal. Um, that'll be a $5,700 payout. Same, same amount as the other one. Great conversation. Um, we haven't gotten her paperwork all ready at this moment. It's, it's happening as, as I, as I um, edit this video or as I do this video, I should say, she will also have um, a, a contract sent out. When, when both of those get added up from yesterday alone, it is, it is um, $13,500. Okay. So Here's another thing I really want you to take into consideration too, is last week was Thanksgiving week and I have from potential deals, I would have to look, but it's right around, 
I, I believe it, it's about 6,000, 7,000 from last week. Let's go with the lower part of that six plus 13. That's 19,500. I have a potential deals from, um, from literally about three or four days of marketing. Now, luck favors the persistent. I have to then continue to market. I don't want to hide behind electronic communication. Now, the guy, he did ask me to go ahead and email him. Again, I will honor what my clients ask me to do. If I, e not email, text. If I text him and I don't hear back from him, I will follow up with him like probably early next week. I don't want to come across desperate. And again, go with your gut, but I'll, I'll follow up with him on Thursday. He, he might text me or call me back. I don't know. He definitely has the information on there. And then I will go ahead and um, follow up again with him on Monday. And then I'll, I'll keep a, a, a drip sequence of where I'm following up with this guy to go ahead and try to earn his business. Um, so I can't say that enough. So what is persistence? Persistence is number one is, is finding that list, doing the work. Like I said, act quickly, get involved in the business. Um, like I said, you're going to fail in this business. You're going to make a mistake. You're also going to have people that decide they don't want to work with you for whatever reason. Um, I, I've seen this time and time again, not only with me, but with other people. Now, I have $19,500 in about three or four days of marketing. What are the likelihood that all three will not work with me? Well, if I follow this right, the, the chances should be a lot slimmer than if I, if I just don't do this um, if I, if, I, if I do nothing or I hide behind emails or I do something. So time is of the essence. And I always say when you get a yes on a deal, it's, it's meat that's hot off the grill. It's hot, it's smoking, and, and it's getting colder by the second. And what am I doing to keep it as hot as possible? I'm getting the contracts out. I'm then calling up my clients. I'm then following up with them and I'm doing everything I promised them to do. Part of my core values is making this as easy as possible for my client. Do they want me to assist them in getting the notaries out there? Um, in, in certain funds, I'll pay for the notaries. If I verified in, in state funds, they have to pay for the notary because I'm not, there are times where it's the state, it could get um, a hiccup, something can happen. It could be a, a probate. There could be something can happen. So I'm, I'm not going to gamble and, and pay for the notary, but I, I'll help assist them in finding the notary. I'll, I'll find notaries by their houses. If there's a a document that needs to be pulled, whatever I need to do to make this deal work, I will do it to make it work. Okay. You are taking hundred percent responsibility for your business. You got to do whatever you have to do to make this work, build this business to last. And you're probably saying, well, David, how can I do that? Preserve your values and your goals, whatever they are. Like mine is to help people, assist people, give people the help that they need. And I love this because I'm getting paid for it. I mean, literally how many, businesses can you be in where you're going up to someone and saying hey you have money let me give it to you i'm going to get a fee from this but let me give it to you how many businesses are out there but stick to your core values and beliefs i was talking to a guy a while ago and um we were working on on his funds and this cost me a deal i mean this is and, and you know what i'd rather cost me a deal well i i don't know I'll, I'll follow back up with him hopefully and he'll come up and say yeah we'll, we'll do this but he, um, he wanted me to launder money. He wanted me to then um, hide it and put it in some other places. He was in some IRS trouble. And literally, I, I just said to him, I mean, I was on the phone with him and I'm like, okay, dude, I said the IRS could, first of all, I, my core values, I don't want to do this. I don't even want to entertain that. If you want me to get you paid and, and do this process, I, I will gladly do it. We're, we're agreeing on an amount. But if, if he assigned all his funds to me from a tax overage, which this deal was, it was a tax overage, and he assigns the 40,000 over to me. Um, and then I'm leaking out 5,000 here and giving his son some money and giving this person money. I mean, the IRS could pull my bank records like that. My name's going to get out there and it's, it's going to get slammed. And, and there's probably plenty of people that are slamming my name. And you know what? I'm, I'm really not going to worry about it. Where I'm going with this is really have your core values and beliefs. And I just said to the guy, you know what? If this cost me the business, it, it cost me. I said, I can't go in and, and have you assign me funds and then hide them. And then I, first of all, I don't even want, want to be part of that. My values are to, are to help people to stick um, to integrity, to, to get people paid with integrity. My values are not to just be running out and hiding people's money, getting them paid and, and, and trying to pull a fast one on the government. Because again, if I got caught, I mean, that, that probably wouldn't be, but it could be jail time. But just, just waking up every morning and being able to look at myself in the mirror. Okay. The very last thing I want to say to you, and this kind of goes with my very first value that I gave you, give it a try, give it a try quickly. Okay. So David Packard, basically summarizing what he said, he had a saying that once you get your company up and running, you're probably going to die of indigestion of too much opportunity, then starvation of too little opportunity. Now, let me just tell you 
when I stopped teaching and I formed my own business, everyone wanted to do lunch with me. Everyone wanted to come out and have lunch with me three or four times a week. They would pay and everything like that. And at first it's like, okay, cool. So-and-so and yeah, we'll do lunch. I got it. Okay, great. And everyone wanted to pick my brain. What I found is that this was totally killing my business. It was um, taking up three or four hours of my day. I'm meeting somebody. I wasn't getting work done in the office. And I was, it, my family, my, my kids, my wife, they, they were the ones also suffering with this. I was having to come back and get things done. So I, I had to learn how to take my control of my time. Secondly is I, I always have people bring me opportunities. Um, I've done a number of flips in my life. I still do flips. I, I love doing them. I think I know the business fairly well. I've done probably over 50. Um, I've made money. I've lost money. I've had all sorts of opportunities in real estate, but I have to know what to say yes to and, and what to say no to. And, and you're going to be right there. You're going to be in the same boat. And I, I go over, there's commercial buildings that are being ran by me. There's um, notes. There's, there's so many different opportunities. And I think a lot of these are really good opportunities. In this business, it's okay to shift and change. Meaning like when I first started the business, I only did mortgage overages. Then I noticed that tax overages and I noticed that there was a huge abundance. And then I noticed that not everyone was being worked. And what I've also noticed about tax overages is that story that I told you about that woman with the ID, nobody wanted to work that case. It was a, I think it was around a $4,000 payout for me. I think she made around like a 7,000, something like that. It was like a $13,000 case or something. So she, um, she made some money, but I made some money. If I did two of those a month, it would be, it would be eight grand a month. I mean, that's a very nice, um, payday before taxes. If I did three a month, all those deals I'm showing you in the beginning, can, can you get one or two or three of those under, uh, under contract a month? And I always say, start off with the small ones. Cause what I do a lot, or I've done in the past, I don't always have time to do it now is I would go after like the $2,000, $1,500 deals. And I would split it 50, 50 with my clients, do all the paperwork for them, get everything all set up. And um, so I would get a deal like I, I would be getting 5,000, 3,000, and then an extra check for 750, another extra check for 750. And they, they add up. I mean, if you do, um, if you do two of those a week, that's 1500 a week, that's 6,000 a month. A lot of people that I see are making 15 to 25,000 a month, which I think is a crime in itself. One of my biggest, and, and I have the free teacher up because one of my biggest one of my biggest concerns that I have is, is teachers. And I, I was a teacher in the classroom for 18 years and teachers really do not get the pay that they deserve in the US. And not only are they not getting the pay, I mean, and I don't wanna get onto a whole another tangent about teachers here, but you, you're dealing with parents, you're dealing with, um, you're dealing with admin, you're dealing with students, you're dealing with cell phones. I mean, it's such a different world than when I went to school. And I thought that there was disrespect when I happened in the classroom, when I went to school, I look at things now and I just look at the, at what teachers do and I've always had a huge heart for teachers because they do not make the pay and it's like literally it's fairly easy to make I mean if you're not making two grand a month just by one day of marketing a week there's something wrong you market this business um, a few hours a day every day there's no reason why you should not be making a hundred thousand plus a year and I mean I've had people I have one guy who made a hundred thousand in, in three months I've had people make um, fifty thousand on one deal and I mean they're out there but again those are like the opportunities that I want to talk about. Start off with, with doable opportunities, start off with the small ones and then work your way up. Then when you're getting into your marketing, you learn how to be able to market the $750, $800 payouts, as well as the four or $5,000 payouts, as well as an occasional big payout. You also learn how, like I got a guy out of the country right now that I'm working with that, you know, when I first contacted him and I found him on social media, he, he emailed me back and he just said, Hey, um, you're a little wrong here. I own this property free and clear. I emailed him back and this is all in Spanish. I'm using Google Translate. I said, well, when's the last time you were in the United States? And he emailed me back. Oh, I bought the property um, eight or nine years ago. And it's just in there. And I just emailed him back. I said, hey, just so you know, um, you didn't pay taxes. There was a lien on the property. That's the bad news. The good news is you, you've got, and his was like 7,000. And I was trying to do 40%. He came back and he said, I'll do the deal with you. Um, but 40% is too high. And I'm thinking, not really. You're out of the country. And $2,800 payout. So I said, um, 30 is my top number if, if you want me to assist you on this. And he agreed. And we're actually working with the paperwork, but you've got, so that's a $2,100 payout. And again, does that make everything? No, but can I do, can I do one of those a week? I mean, and, and that's life changing for a lot of people. And those, those deals are out there. So you got to know how to work your deals out of all the deals I've shown you on this. I mean, I could have shown you nothing but deals on here. There are plenty of deals to go around, find your area, do it on small steps, do it, do it quickly. 
don't worry about making mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to have people that, that work around you. It's going to happen. Okay. I've, I've, I've had it happen, but luck favors persistent. I, as much as I don't, I want to say, I mean, favor, um, finds the persistent. Okay. And I, I say that because, um, if, if you keep on doing this, you're going to get deals. You're going to get paid out. You're going to make good money at doing this. All right. I've said enough. I want to thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think. Feel free to ask me any questions. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.